Well, thank you very much, Paul Crane. It's a broken record, more broken records for the Saints. We'll get to those in just a second as Drew Brees joins us, but I know the number that counts for you is 13. 13 win season, second time you've done that in team history. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a huge accomplishment. And, and obviously, you know, you come in every year with hopes and dreams and aspirations, and um, you know, all those things are right there you know, within our grasp. Um, certainly 13 wins is, is big. Usually that gets you a first round bye, but right. unfortunately in this case it didn't. So, you know, we're locked into the three seed, which means, you know, we get a first round playoff game. Um, not sure who that'll be yet, you know, Detroit or Atlanta. So, um, but it's probably gonna be a short week and uh, we just gotta, you know, this is when the, the real season starts, you know, because this is what you play for and, and here's our opportunity. Drew, you win eight games in a row heading into the playoffs. Talk about that kind of momentum. Uh, it's tremendous, especially, you know, when you look at the last stretch since the bye um, with, you know, I guess six straight games, you know, where we just feel like, you know, we're really clicking, um, you know, continuing to improve each and every week uh, offensively, both the run game and the pass game defensively coming up with some huge plays, uh, you know, more turnovers, great on third down, great in the red zone, you know, all those things. I mean, you just you want to keep this going. Um, but you also got to understand that, you know what, it, it only gets tougher and, and there's huge challenges ahead of us, um, but we got to con continue to grind, continue to stick together, and, uh, but it's all right there in front of us. Drew, more than a handful of NFL records this offense broke. The big one, you guys have put up more offense than any team in NFL history. I mean, looking back at the history of the NFL, that has to mean a lot. I mean, if numbers don't lie, you're the best offense ever, right? Man, uh, <laughs> you know what, there, there's a bunch of great you know, men that have played this game, great teams, um, you know, teams that have accomplished some, some, some pretty amazing things. And, you know, to think that, you know, we as an offense just passed the greatest show on turf, you know, the St. Louis Rams. And, but you look to, you know, some of the other great, you know, offenses, um, you know, from the Niners, you know, with, with Montana and Young and the Chargers with Dan Fouts and, you know, the K-Gun with Jim Kelly and, uh, I mean, it's just, it's amazing to think, you know, obviously Kurt Warner and the Rams, it's amazing to think that, you know, we're, we're now in that group. I talked to you a few years ago when you broke the completion record and you were excited, but you know, it was a different kind of season. Can you enjoy this a little more because you have the 13 wins because you're so hot heading into the postseason? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, you, you can enjoy it more, but really the time for reflection is once the season is over. Um, we obviously have a lot, you know, more important to think of things to think about at this point. But just to know that, you know, we locked up a ton of records, you know, throughout this season and, and really today. I mean, even coming into this game, you know, Sproles needed X amount of yards to become, you know, the uh, all-time all-purpose, you know, yardage uh, leader for a season. Jimmy Graham, you know, for tight ends. Obviously, every ball that was completed today was another record for the total passing yards. Um, you know, the offensive stuff, the third down percentage, I mean, you name it. And then a 13th win, which ties a franchise record. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Does it surprise you after a game when you look at all the numbers? Did the numbers surprise you and how many records you guys have broken? Uh, yeah, it does. I mean, you look at the paper and, and, and you say, okay, well, 40, 45 points is hard to do in this league, especially when, you know, it's it's not like you got a, a special teams return or a interception return for a touchdown. I mean, it was, I mean, this was all you know driving the football down, scoring touchdowns, um, and then, I mean, just 600 and whatever it was, 17 yards of total offense. Um, it's just it's kind of mind-boggling. I mean, um, but that's just that just goes to show you. I mean, it's it's you know you get a bunch of guys together on the same page, you know, working together. One play at a time, you can accomplish some pretty amazing things. Two more. Uh, Marcus Colston, not named All-Pro uh, this time around. Is he possibly the best player in the NFL who hasn't been an All-Pro? Uh, I probably have to say without a doubt, yes. Um, he's a guy who his contributions are um, just immense. And, and certainly he does not get the credit he deserves. Um, and he's, he's been one of the most consistent players you know, for the last six years. Um, you know, match him up against anybody in the league. And, you know, obviously the real appreciation, I know all that matters to him is that the guys in the room, you know, respect him and, and feel that way about him. And we all do, you know, but certainly there's, there's lots of times where you feel like, man, there's a guy who deserves more respect, you know, around the rest of the league and um, with fans and everything else. 
I know other teams respect him, you know, because um, they got to defend him. But uh, yeah, he's he's a special person, a special player. Last question. A lot of scenarios playoff wise. You do know this though. You're going to have to play a home game here in New Orleans next week. Uh, what does that mean to you guys? I know you won the first round by, but to be at home, that's big. To be at home, yes, absolutely. Win the division, uh, secure yourself a home playoff game. Um, you know, we love playing here in the dome. We love playing in front of our fans, the Houdat Nation. I mean, such a great home field advantage. Obviously, they, uh, you know, big reason why we're, we're where we are. Eight zero at home. You know, first time in franchise history as well. So, um, hopefully, we can keep that rolling next week. All right. Thanks. Great week, victory. Thank you. All right, Drew Brees here in the Superdome, ringing in the new year in fine fashion. I tell you what, we sportscasters have to be pretty good at math. A lot of broken records for the New Orleans Saints. We'll have that story coming up on Saints tonight. That's a story for now. Back to you guys in Louisiana Cat Studio.